What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Got a stream vod for you all here today. Winning a bunch of games with our hero, Porygon Z. Check it out. That's fine. We got smoked by an Umbreon deck, so that's a nice way to wake up. Umbreon's a thing. Who would have known? Who would have known? Now we know, though. Gonna put that in the old noggin. Umbreon. Watch out for Umbreons. The deck is better than I thought. <laughs> I know, Riley. Hey, welcome. Nothing's changed. Yep, nothing's changed. I forgot that you can see uh, you can see people's lists on on PTCGO. That is a thing that you can do sometimes. Let's start out with a turn one judge. I know. Uh, <laughs> I I know. Uh, I know Yarden. Riley is he even a real friend at this point. Hard to tell. Let's just pass. This is fantastic. Turn one. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know about Umbreon. I did it. Umbreon really caught me off guard there. Ooh, we're playing against a Decidueye deck. Uh, sure enough, my opponent, yeah, they just have a super sick start, though, with the, uh, with the Professor Elm's Lecture and everything. Welcome, Datazard. Welcome all. I'm really excited. This is a great morning stream. I gotta do this more often. I mean, heck, with uh, with as many viewers as we got right now, we could go 185, dude. That's what I'm talking about. With this many viewers, we could just go uh, and just change the schedule, start doing morning streams, man. That's what I'm talking about. It's fantastic. All right, my opponent's got a Vulpix active. They're gonna beacon, which is definitely no bueno for what we got going on. But, oh, and they've slapped the counter game. They're already ready. So that's fine here. We're just going to knock out the Vulpix with our Tapu Lele. And no problems. He's got that one card as a rare candy in his hand, probably. Oh, we got a Swampert. Yeah, that's fine. Sure, we'll put down our other Mudkip, too. Go get him, Tapu Lele. Take that knockout. Get out of here, Vulpix. Get out of here. An Ultra Ball. All right, I can work with this. So, we're going to be able to Ultra Ball for Lele next turn. Chris Tucker, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys. You guys rock. My opponent's probably going to go something like Nine Tails, you know, Fairy Energy, Rare Candy, Decidueye, and they're going to like Snowy Wind my Lele all in one go here. We had a little bit, it's, don't you hate when you start Tapu Lele and then your first card off the draw is like not a Tapu Lele? It was, that's what happened. I was like, I started Lele and then my next card was Mudkip and you're just like, man, like, dude, couldn't we have just started the Mudkip and then drawn into the Tapu Lele? This whole game is different if we do things in that order. It is freezing, Chris. It's freezing here. Apparently there's been like a cold snap everywhere. And please don't have the, yes, all right. He didn't have the nine tails. Yes, there is a chance. <laughs> Working and lurking. Love it, Dadizard. Good morning, everyone. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, uh, with the Elms Lecture top deck here, we're actually like good to go. We're good to go. Let's get it. I can go get a couple of Rowlet boys and probably a Vulpix. That's great. And actually, we're pretty favored here, I think. Um, let's see. Okay. I've got two Mudkips down. I could beacon this turn or I could hit into Tapu Lele. Uh, if I beacon, that's probably good. We probably want to beacon. And I actually don't super mind getting two Vulpixes here. Uh, I could beacon, get rare candies. Yeah, da, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, we're going here. Sure. Okay. Let's get them boys out. We're going to have a lot of non decidui fellas in play, but that's just the way that this matchup is headed right now. So let's do that. We already are a prize up. Oh, with the tears. Oh. Riley, you're my first tier two sub, man. Oh, Riley, thank you. Oh, you really do care. You love me. Thank you, Riley. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, Chris Tucker, do you, <laughs> you came for Tony Hawk's Underground. I am going, to, I was actually looking at 
I was looking at capture cards last night. So it's going to happen. I just need to get, let's see, we already have that. We have that. I'm just going to get double rare candy. I have that. So we can just go and probably get like a Tapu Coco could be good eventually. Or actually just another Swampert. We probably want, this is going to be a double Swampert game, guys. We're going to be going in here with two swamp dogs. <laughs> that's, just that's just where we're at. We're going double swamp dog here. And we're going to be rolling, okay? Now, I think that we're cool in this matchup, honestly. I'm not, like, terribly worried about it. <laughs> oh, Bram, unfortunately. No, not the... Judge, can you get that judge out of here, dude? I finally have a good hand, and you're just going to judge me out of it. No, no, no. Tanish, I think that uh, I am traveling to Dallas, unfortunately. So I want to get Team Up tabletop games in, but it might be a little bit more difficult to do this week. It might have to wait till next week, like Monday, Tuesday, might be what we're looking at. Fortunately, my opponent was a little bit greedy there. I think, honestly, with this hand, I just beacon again. They don't have anything going on. There is no reason not to just beacon. And we could just go Swampert. Uh, do we just go double Swamp? We go Swampert, this, you know, Nine Tails. That's, that's where we go. So we're gonna go Swampert, Nine Tails. And that way we can just, you know, rock with that. So with that double rare candy in hand, you know, kind of the world is my oyster. I can get whatever I want here with the beacon. I kind of actually am wishing that I had the, uh, the blue nine tails out in the active position, but I'm hoping my opponent never gets to evolve this ditto. If they could just give me one more turn <laughs> uh, without getting that ditto evolved, that would be fantastic. And we could uh, we could win this matchup for sure. I think that judge play on my opponent's part was just super high greed. Like they don't even have a good setup and they're gonna acerola their ditto. Like that's what I'm saying. They don't have a good setup. They don't have anything going on here. They're gonna energy drive for 20 with a counter gained tapu lay. <laughs> like, like what are you doing my man? What in the world is you doing? Okay, so check this out. I can make some cool plays happen here. We're gonna go into Swampert for sure. So Swamp Dog on the scene, there he is. Then we could do something where we like, uh, where, where we evolve into Ninetales and then Acerola the Ninetales. I could do that. That's, I think that's kind of a cool play to be honest. And that way I could put another another thing down. So let's, uh, I think, do I power draw first? No, we're gonna, we're gonna search first. So let's get some Pokemon out the deck first. We're gonna do that. Yes, we're gonna go get Timer Ball and Ultra Ball. That seems fine. Timer Ball, Ultra Ball there, cool. And then we're gonna try and hit on this Timer Ball for surely. Let's get it, Timer Ball, please. Oh yeah, we've got a single hit off a of timer ball. So I think at this point, we probably need to get our Decidueye into play so that thing just doesn't get sniped out of existence. So we're gonna get ourselves another one. Oh, Dream It Gaming, thank you, appreciate it. We're gonna rare candy that Decidueye into play for sure. And then let's, uh, let's power draw some stuff. I think here, we probably want to power draw away. Um, let's see, I can't use counter gain this game. Uh, the ultra ball could, ah, uh, we could power draw away the ultra ball. Let's, let's do that. Let's power draw away that ultra ball. Sure, get that out of here. J stars, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it, my man. All right, so we've got Acerola. I think we Acerola and then yeah, let's do that. Acerola the Nine Tails, sure. And then we're gonna go in and hit you with my Tapu Lele. Put down another Rowlet also. Chris Tucker, thank you for the bits. You rock. All right, and then we got a Feather Arrow, the um, probably the Zerua. Seems fine. 
We'll do that and then just hit this guy. So we're cool, we're cruising. I could get more items actually. I could go evolve into Ninetales and get myself like a choice band, I guess. And I could do 90 damage with the Tapu Lele, put some pressure on. Or I'd probably just save that for next turn, to be honest, and can go get myself another Decidueye into play. So we're going to do that. Next turn, I can evolve into that Alolan Ninetales again, get myself Rare Candy Ultra Ball, and just kind of continue churning through my deck here. I'm feeling like I'm in a favorable spot against my opponent right now, especially with them benching that Ditto Prism Star, dude. Like, we're going to be able to double Feather Arrow knock that thing out this next turn, which is really good. Oh, Ganger, thank you for the bits and for the compliment. I appreciate that compliment. That's very nice. Any advice? I had a question about any advice. My first pre-release, Greeny. That's a good question. Uh, just go and have fun, man. I mean, really, the format is pretty easy to wrap your head around because all you have to do is just build the jack out of the four packs you get and, uh, and also the little starter kit. So it's not that hard, I think. You just go and kind of have a kind of have a good time, and it's not that serious. Like pre-releases are not that high, uh, not that high stakes. So I think you should be good. Just go in, good attitude, have some fun. Appreciate the bits, Trano. Thank you. Let's. Uh, I, I would love to hit my max potion this turn. But I also want to evolve into Nine Tails and get the Rare Candy. I could get Rare Candy Max Potion, I guess, but I kind of want to hit everything. Should we Cynthia first? No, nah, we should Power Draw first. So let's Power Draw away the probably the Lecture. I don't think that I need that Lecture. We could Power Draw that. Let's get some cards. We've got a bunch of energy. It's not like the worst thing that I've ever seen. Here, I think I could evolve into Nine Tails, get myself the. I could get myself Ultra Ball. Hmm. No, I really want to knock out. I really want to knock out that Ditto Prism Star. I don't really mind if my Tapu Lele goes down. So, actually, I kind of do. I kind of really want Max Potion now that I'm like looking at it. And then I could Hollow Hunt GX, which just could be really good. So, I think if I go here. Sure, let's do that. And yeah, let's get some things. I could get Rare Candy Ultra Ball or I could get Ultra Ball Max Potion. I think if I get Ultra Ball Max Potion, I Max Potion the Tapu Lele and then go in and Hollow Hunt. I kind of like that play the best, I think. So let's do that. Let's just be a little bit. We're going to be really slow and grindy about this game, all right? That's just what the doctor ordered today. So today... We're going with the slow, sloggy grind fest of a match. We're going to get rid of the Vulpix and the Coco. Then we're going to get ourselves a Dartrix so that I can evolve into Dartrix. We'll get that Decidueye out eventually. One of these days. For sure. We're doing that. We got the Max Potion in hand. Then we're going to Hollow Hunt. It is definitely about Hollow Hunt o'clock. We're going to Feather Arrow probably onto, uh, I don't know, probably onto a Bench Tapu Lele. Also, if I just hit that Ditto, like, I mean, it's probably fine to hit the Ditto just in case, but then I'll just double Feather Arrow the Ditto in case it, I'll do the Zero. That's fine. That way I just have, like, a bunch of targets that can get hit this next turn. We'll go there with the Decidueye, Max Potion him. And then I can easily just Cynthia. That's fine. We'll Cynthia this turn. And get ourselves a new looking hand. That's a beautiful hand. This is perfect. All right. So that's the kind of hand you want to hollow hunt with. Let's go get ourselves another max potion. That's super good. We could get more uh, rare candy timer ball action. We could get, oh, another acerola. That's really good. And then probably a DCE. That seems fine as well. A DCE back from the discard pile. Love it. Uh, another rare candy would be good, though. That way I can get the second. I think that like, could be a little greedy. With only two rare candies left in deck. No, two rare candies left in deck will actually be fine to sustain me throughout the rest of the... I already did Feather Arrow, guys. I did. I did it, I promise. 
And with all this healing, like, juiced up in my hand, I don't think that there's a way that my opponent is actually going to be able to win here. We're just going to be able to out-finesse them hardcore. They went super greed early on with that judge before they were even able to get a Zorark into play. And we've just played the long game here and being able to set up, get Decidueye, just get like a fat Decidueye in the active <laughs> hollow hunting. There's not really a lot they can do. And the thing about a Decidueye hollow hunting is that you just know that it's going to go get max potion. So like that's just this thick wall. My opponent cannot get itself around. And I'm going to guarantee just be able to attack next turn with somebody else. So that's just like super good, right? You know, they're gonna energy drive, that's cool. They have one card in hand. I have got double feather arrow on those dittos. I also got max potion, really good. Let's go and power draw first. I'm feeling power draw here. So let's power draw a way that probably the Dartrix feels fine to get rid of. Uh, would honestly like to get a second. Wow, look at all that energy. I think I just go and uh, probably hit with Tapu Lele here. As weird as that is, it's probably fine. I could go double feather arrow the ditto. Let's do that first though. Let's double feather arrow that ditto. Get that thing out of here. Uh, my opponent has given me way too many turns to go and get the Feather Arrow dude set up. I mean, I have had all game here. Ooh, Rare Candy off the, off that there. That is good. So maybe I can get a second Swamper into play here eventually. Not quite yet, but eventually. Then I think it's about Lele o'clock. So we're gonna Guzma up, and I'm thinking that we just hit into Probably that other Tapu Lele would be good. Also, hitting into Rowlet could be good. There's like no way that they... Yeah, I kind of actually like hitting into the Rowlet. I don't think that they're going to get everything that they need in order to evolve that into a Decidueye this next turn. Now, call me crazy, but I just don't think that they have it like that. So we got Max Potion, and then we're going to get to just Energy Drive this thing. And what's cool about that play is I don't think they have Rare Candy Decidueye. Like, no way do they have Rare Candy Decidueye in this two-card hand. There's no way. So I don't think that they're going to have it. And then I get to just Feather Arrow that Rowlet and take a bonus prize and then hit into something else this next turn. Well, I mean, never say never. If they hit, you know, heads here, and if one of that two cards in that hand is a Rare Candy, then we're going to see... They got a Zorark, but there's no Zerua in play. Ouch, my man. Major ouch. So that's that's good for me as well. And then since I've got Acerola back, if the Tapu Lele were to take a hit, we can just... They scooped it up. They knew. They already knew. All right, chat. Send your Porygons. I know we didn't use Porygon, but that's another win in the books for Porygon deck. All right? That's <laughs> another win in the book. Busted, filthy busted Porygon, getting in there again with the fat dub. Thank you, Porygon. Thank you, chat, for sending your Porygons. Honestly, beautiful Porygon has an absurd win rate. I don't know. Even if I don't use the Porygon, he's just a good luck charm in the deck, I think. This is... Uh, not a great opening hand, but you know what? We'll rock with it. We we get hands like this playing Decidueye sometimes. We'll draw out of it. For sure, we'll draw out of it. We're going second. Fine. We're about to top deck a Vulpix here, and everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Thank you for those bits, Chris Tucker. We are playing against some sort of Garchomp deck here. All righty. I'll raise my Dunkin' Donuts to that. Garchomp on the scene. I'm not going to lie, it's been a little while since I've played against a Garchomp deck. So I don't necessarily know what to expect. I'm not going to underestimate my opponent as I fatally did there <laughs> against that Umbreon deck earlier. That was a horrible idea. 
should never have underestimated that embryon. <laughs> we are in the depths of the ladder. <laughs> I know. I know, J.D. But I keep winning, though. I keep winning with this Porygon deck. There's no way. It's because it's the morning ladder, I'm telling you. In the morning, I love playing in the morning because you never know what you're going to see. So... Honestly, guys, thank you so much for the incredible morning stream. Was not expecting this this morning, so a huge pleasant surprise. Thank you all. Thank you all for showing up. Appreciate you. I'm not really digging what we got going on here. think I kind of have to wait with that fairy energy. This is just bad, right? <laughs> this is really bad. No cards in this opening hand. Even if we had just had an Elm, an Ultra Ball, if we top deck a Rare Candy, there's like a million ways out of this. We just don't want to have to dig our way out. I could have Guzma stalled there, but I think I'm going to wait a turn to Guzma stall. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should have Guzma stalled already. But... <laughs> oh, Dadazard, that's excellent. Thank you. Appreciate it. They are they are just cruising along here. They're going to have turn two, <laughs> Garchomp, and Lucario out. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here with my Rallets just looking silly. That's fine. I feel like just playing Decidueye, honestly, until Team Up comes out. I think that, uh, <laughs> I think that that's probably what I want to do. This is honestly the most fun deck that I've ever played here on PTCGO. I think I have the most enjoyment playing the game, playing Decidueye out of any deck that I've played. It's one of my favorite decks of all time, for sure. It's just so fun. All right, we're about to get Quick Dove, I think. No, that thing can search for a DCE. We're going to get Royal Bladested. Royal Bladed. We're getting there. No, no bueno. Get that DCE out of here, Garchomp. Oh, and now we just lose. Now that they have Garchomp out. Things weak to grass, too. We could totally... 200 damage, turn two. Oh, no, the agony. Okay, this is no bueno for sure. Let's see. Oh, yeah, guys. All right. <laughs> I don't think that I can pull out of this no matter what I do. I think because even if I Guzma, they're just going to be able to go get an escape board or something like that. Oh, no. I kind of have to hope, though, right? Like, I guess. I guess we'll, we'll hold on to hope. Sure, let's goose up that thing. And I'm going to put an energy here. And I guess if we top deck a... Nope, I don't think there's any way out. If we top deck like a Decidueye, we could potentially get in there and tank a couple turns with Decidueye if we draw perfectly. I mean, we'd have to hit like max potions as well. <laughs> I think you're right. I think it's about that turn. We just don't want our opponent to sit here feeling good about themselves stunting on me, right? We want to just cut our losses. Mm -hmm. Just cut our losses here. Guzma, all right. I think even if this is a rare candy, there's just no way that this is going to turn out to be a dub, right? We just, we just have to scoop it up. Oh, no. My beautiful Porygon deck. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, Cynthia. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's worth it, guys. Oh, a Cynthia. Oh, we got a lecture for next turn. You know what? Yeah. Let's fold it up. We can't do it, right? I mean, they take a knockout here. They take a knockout there. I think eventually they're just going to be, oh, my gosh. It's just too much. Yeah. I, we got to, we're going to eject. All right. You have a good deck, sir. <laughs> we're, we're out. Okay. All right, we're going to just pretend. All right, scoop that one up. You guys got your rug? We're going to scoop that one under the rug. That didn't happen. We're going to roll another one. Uno Moss with Decidueye. We're going out with Decidueye Porygon on a good note for sure. I mean, you guys have seen how busted this deck is. We definitely got to get a game where we use Porygon for sure. So we're going to use the Porygon. It's going to be Porygon's epic morning here. That was, you're right, Celio's Network. That was just a warm-up game. <laughs> it was a warm-up game. Didn't count for sure. Nope. We're going to get to try again. Yeah, we'll try again. This one this one counts. Unless, of course, I open another dead hand, in which case it doesn't count. And then we just continue on. See? This deck's busted. 
Honestly, this is the kind of hand that we want. We got Cynthia, we got Vulpix, we got the whole squad out here. And we're going first busted. We're good to go. Against a Shuckle deck? I don't even care. That's totally fine. We'll go Rainbow Energy here, and then just Cynthia. I know that the Fairy Ninetales is in deck, so that's really good. And we got the Fairy Ninetales back. I don't even care that we didn't get, uh, that's fine. I don't care that we didn't get a, a Rowlet down. We'll get the Rowlets out eventually. All right. And then I probably just put down another Vulpix and we're just gonna pass. Done. Go ahead, sir. Thank you, Jacob, for the bits. Jacob, 1999. All right, so we're playing, we got what? <laughs> no, 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 dude. Ah, why? This is horrible. <laughs> it just happened. Why? Why'd you hit that one? No, 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 no. Oh, it's such a sad day. <laughs> sad day. No. Oh, oh no. <laughs> He's got Mars. Oh, no, chat. Oh, no, he's got Mars. Yes, raise your angry face. Raise your angry face for that one. That's <laughs> oh, what a horrible day here in PTCGO town. Okay. It is a sad day for everyone. Oh, uh, let's, uh, I guess we have to get a Lele. That's, oh, uh, that's just so sad. That's my only Decidueye in deck, too. <laughs> so, so, so sad. I can't believe that that just happened. I'm so floored right now. I'm like so... <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, that's fine. We're going to get probably a... No, no. We got to get a Dartrix and probably a Lele. Ugh. Oh, no. That's just so sad. So, so sad. It's all good. We'll, uh, we'll we'll get out of this one. This could be fine. All right, for the record, you know, this game doesn't count. We got Mars, bro. We got our <laughs> Nine Tails Mars. This game doesn't count. doesn't count. You know, we're fine. This one doesn't count towards the uh, overall win rate <laughs> for Decidueye. It doesn't count, guys. For sure doesn't count. <laughs> oh, no, the agony. Okay. We'll, uh, and I'm taking damage with Potown, just straight up. We're just like taking hits with Potown. There's no way around it. I guess I'll just Lele. Ugh. <laughs> For Acerola, that seems horrible. Uh, I probably need to Lele for a Cynthia. Probably gotta do that. Sure. Okay. All right, deck, we'll just go get a Cynthia. That's totally fine. And, you know, I probably will end up having to peek in here for some things that I don't need. <laughs> it's just horrible. I can't get my rare candies out the deck because uh, my dude is probably, I could retreat this thing, that seems bad. I guess, yeah, that probably is just bad. But you know it's also bad? Letting your dude die in the middle of a turn. So it's all really bad. You know, none of it's good here. Uh, and our dude is down. So I think, uh, sure, I'll attach an energy to Tapu Lele GX. The good old Tapu Lele. Uh, thank you, Jesse, for hanging out. Appreciate it, even though you're at work. It's okay. We're very uh, workplace friendly here. You can have your volume on even. And you know, we're, you know we're keeping it PG all day, every day. So very work friendly. All right, let's, uh, do we just get ourselves like a Swampert and hope we top deck a rare candy? I think that's where I'm at with this. You know what? That's just A-OK. -okay. Tapu Coco, go get him, Slugger. <laughs> we're, gonna send, we're sending Tapu Coco into the fray out here. Tapu Coco out here. We're getting Po Town, dude. We're getting. You see? Oh, this is the Sviper version of this deck, dude. Oh my gosh! And there's crack. <laughs> no, don't Mars be proud. No. Oh god! <laughs> what in the world? 
is happening. Oh, geez. It couldn't have been. Oh, yeah, we're in. All right. That's right. Saddle up, boys. <laughs> We've got the we've got the swapper. Yes. Go ahead and take your 30 damage. I don't care, Swapper. Take it. All right. And then Decidueye, you take your damage as well, sir. All right. We're out here now. We're out here. I've got a Guzma, so I can heal this Tapu Coco. And <laughs> We're going to be just fine. Oh, Paul, thank you for joining us. Let's go and probably... Let's see, we probably want a beacon this turn. So we're going to Swamper away. All these cards are good. So I think I'm going to Lecture, actually, to go get another basic into play. We're going to Lecture and go get ourselves a Rowlet, a Mudkip, and another Rowlet. That's fine. So we're going to get these fellas out. And then we're just going to bench a Rowlet, power draw away the Mudkip. And that way I can kind of at least start to... St we got the super boost! Oh, yeah. Okay, so eventually Swamp Dog's going to be able to get in here with that super boost energy, take a pretty sizable knockout. So that's good. I think I kind of want to start damaging the benched one. I don't know. I'm thinking the Swampert's going to take a one-hit KO eventually with that super boost. So let's just retreat. That's fine. And then we'll beacon. And I think I'm going to beacon for, like, Dartrix and a Decidueye. That's probably okay. I don't know. If this thing, like, hits me... Yeah, there's, like, no... Whoa! Let's see. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attack. Ooh. So you're saying that if I evolve into... Hmm. I think I actually get this guy. We could GX this thing, right? We could GX this thing and he would still take the damage, correct? I'm, I'm thinking that if we GX your opponent's active Pokemon, so put, so put, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have all damage done. But if we place damage counters, then we're fine. So, I'm thinking we could do this. Sure. Okay. We're going to go like that. Okay. We're going to go like that. Because I think that I could GX the Shuckle. If I get, like, a ton of damage on me, maybe we can GX. And that could possibly be good, right? Like, is a, a potential play that we have. I mean, Swampert is definitely an option, but I don't really want to pull the Swampert card. Oh, I didn't realize he was going to be taking that much damage. How did he take? How did he take 50 damage there? Did he already have like? Ah, hmm. Oh, because of the Survipers. That's fine. Okay. All good. That's fine. Forgot about the Survipers, but we're uh, we're still cruising here. I'm not worried. I still think that the Nine Tails could be a valid play, so I'm not mad that I got him. Let's go and probably power draw away the lecture. We're just going to do that. That's fine. Get that thing out of here. We got a rare candy Decidueye. Busted, honestly. I don't even need to be good at this game. We just draw into exactly what we need all the time. So we've got ourselves a situation where I can just swamp this thing. Now... That feels kind of like an all-in play that I don't necessarily need to make, I guess. I mean, because he's just going to have the Enhanced Hammer. So I think that I want to rather kind of go in with the Vulpix here and then the Ninetales the following turn. That or I could get like a third Decidueye up into play. Uh, we'll probably go here. That's fine. And we're going to start to Feather Arrow these benched guys and just kind of rock on that for a little while. That's fine. Let's just start Feather Arrowing. I guess, yeah, the Swipers, taking the Swipers out is like kind of good. Taking out the Shuckles is better, but like we'll probably be able to actually knock out a Swiper this next turn. That's cool. And then we'll just pass. Yep, totally passing. Fine. This next turn, I think the Ninetales is going to be that boy. I agree. I think that Ice Path GX is going to be pretty good. 
I need to draw into more double colorless energy, but I have, oh no, stop it, dude, that hand was busted. Why you gotta do me like that? Oh no. Oh, it's a sad day here in Decidueye Town. Just a sad, sad day. That's fine. Yeah, the cocoa's going down. Another one bites the dust, fellas. That's fine. Team Skullgrunt, are you kidding me? This thing could Team Skullgrunt me? That is just really sad. So I think we kind of have to go in with the Alolan Vulpix. That's fine. And then we can evolve into... Okay, I actually don't mind this at all. So I think I power draw away... Well, I think we're going for the... Uh, we're going for the Dartrix here, so, or, or the uh, Rowlet. So let's go get Rowlet, and then we don't need that Porygon whatsoever. So let's get these fellas out. Then we can power draw away the Porygon. Get that thing. Oh, Tanish, thank you for the update, my man. Appreciate it. Oh, boy, howdy. All right. So we could go and rescue Stretch or something back. Oh, no, the clock. All right, the clock. The clock is, is on me right now. I can Ultra Ball away probably the Porygon and the, uh, yikes. Yeah, there's a lot of these cards I don't necessarily want to get rid of. We'll Ultra Ball away the Porygon and the Decidueye and the Rescue Stretcher and the Rescue Stretcher and the Rescue Stretcher. That's probably okay. We'll do that. Get rid of those fellas. And we're going to go get ourselves our Ninetales. That's fine. So I think we just like evolve into the Ninetales. And then I kind of just take some hits for a while, right? And then I clear everything with Ice Path GX. So we're going to go in there. Busted. Let's do that. He's just like out here and just going to take some hits. And that's okay. That's a okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to just start getting <laughs> no poor guy. I agree to niche, but he doesn't have any evolutions. <laughs> he doesn't have any evolutions for me to finesse with, uh, with poor gun. So there's just no play here on that regard. We're going to attach the fairy energy so that we can, if we need to ice path with double fairy, we might do that. Not the blue. <laughs> Could you stop it? Dude, this deck. Oh, this deck is just so sad to play against. <laughs> so sad. So, so sad. So things have escalated here quickly. And now um, we kind of need to... Ooh, that's really good. So we can power draw away our Dark Tricks for sure. That's great. Then, oh gosh, this is a really good hand actually. Just a really fantastic hand here. Okay, so the question is, do we go in with Guzma? We could Guzma and Hollow Hunt. I could Ice Path GX seems kind of bad. So let's just uh, let's just Feather Arrow some dudes here and start to take some knockouts. Three Decidueye, busted deck, or start taking some prize cards. Very good. Then I've got two more here. We can easily just start Feather Arrowing these other Survipers. Which is cool, because that means I take less damage uh, overall. So that's that's good. So the way that this works here, I guess if they... Okay. If they wrap me, right? And they haven't done any of that yet. So there would be 40, and then I'm taking 4. So that's 80, 120. 120 plus 80 would be very close to a knockout. So that way, I kind of have to Guzma here or Acerola. I think I'll just... Uh, I don't think we just Acerola. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just Acerola this fella. And then we'll just go into our other Decidueye. I'm kind of fine with this. And then we just play the long game here. And I could hollow hunt for... I'll probably end up just hollow hunting. I think that that's going to be the safer play. I desperately want the max potion first, though so that I can max potion. So I might be a little bit greedy here and just go for, I'm thinking I might just go for like trying to power draw into my max potion first. It's a little bit greedy, but I'm probably fine with it. If I 
go and hollow hunt now, I'm pretty much just getting back the Acerola, and that's it. So I think I'm going to wait a turn. Sure. And we're just going to play even longer. I think I'm going to, I'm going a little bit greedy here on the hollow hunt. Like I really want to get myself a max potion. I know that that's greedy, but if I power draw into max potion here, then I pretty much win, I think. And there's not, I mean, the Decidueye's got a ton of hit points. So that's kind of the strategy that I'm going for here. I also get to take a knockout on that Viper, so that's really cool. So we'll do that. All right, the clock is like not my friend here. They're not, not my friend at all. Here we go, Feather Arrow, Feather Arrow, and Feather Arrow. Three Feather Arrows every turn, very good. Let's take that fella right on out short, see what we get off of the prize. It's a rare candy. So that's not bad. Let's power draw away, probably, I guess, Tapu Lele seems fine. Everything else seems kind of good. Okay, so we didn't get it this turn. I could retreat. I think now I probably hollow hunt. And, like, I wanted it last turn, but that's fine. We didn't quite get it. Uh, I, think, uh, I think we just go for it now. So at this point, you know, it's times are times are tough. We need to go hollow hunt. Um, I could have Guzma, I guess, but I kind of like saving my Guzma. Though the Guzma would have been a pretty good resource to get back off of the hollow hunt. So we're committed now to this this line of play. That's just where we're at for sure. Uh, and then I think we probably ah, we'll save the uh, we'll save the Vulpix in case we want to evolve into the other nine tails. So, let's see, we probably want Rescue Stretcher, and then we probably want Acerola, and then our final card that we want is probably a, what, a Rare Candy could be good. Eh, we'll get another Energy back. That's fine. We're going to get all those. There we go. I know. So, we got ourselves some things back. I only have one Rare Candy left, so I do have to be wary of that. Now, I don't think that there's any... Yeah, we got Enhanced Hammer. There's no way that we get knocked out this turn, so that's good. Mars, no! No! Oh, my God! That hand was so big! Are you serious? Oh, my gosh! No way! Ah! No! No, 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 no. Dude, this guy has rolled so high on those Mars. I can't actually believe it. Like, I am floored, dude. No way. That is so bad, dude. So, so bad. I can't believe it. I can't believe it at all. Oh, oh God. The one card, literally, take any other card in that gigantic hand. I had probably 10 cards in hand, and he Mars is the one that we needed you not to hit, my dude. The one card. <sighs> That's fine. We'll carry on. And we'll be just fine. So, we're going to power draw first. We're going to power draw away one Ultra Ball. That's fine. Absolutely tragic. Absolutely. We got the Max Potion and a Guzma. So, that's very good here. Uh, I have already used my GX attack, so I think that we just are in Max Potion Town on this thing for sure. Let's do that. And then we can... I do have to be careful about decking out, actually. That's kind of like a crazy situation that I've got myself into. You can use this attack only if your opponent has exactly two prize cards remaining. Uh, I don't really love that. Yeah, no, not like the biggest fan of that whole thing, not going to lie. But I don't plan on going to two prizes and really letting him do that. So let's triple Feather Arrow here. I could also just go knock it out with my Decidueye or with my Ninetales. So that's like kind of cool as well. We'll, uh, we'll go here. I think actually... Oh, I have counter gain too. Let's ultra let's uh rescue stretcher. Sure. Shuffle three back. We're gonna get probably that dude back in deck. That dude back in deck. Sure. 
And then if I had to get one more dude, sure, Lele, I guess. That's fine. And then I can Ultra Ball, I guess, kind of make it tougher for my opponent to do what they have to do here. But I think I'm going, I think I'm going with this route. Yeah. And I kind of want this dude. That's cool. And I think I'm going to go counter gain, probably. So that's just going to help me take some, uh, you know, take some kind of aggressive prizes here. Sure, let's look at the items. Uh, Ultra Ball. I don't really need Ultra Ball out the deck, though. I have a Judge left, so I don't actually have to worry about decking out. Unless he Mars it or something like that. You know, we do have to worry about that whole thing. So we'll go Counter Gain and then Guzma. We're going to bring up... What does this thing do? Fun time. Oh, yeah, we actually want that thing nowhere near the active position. Sure. Okay. And then we don't actually want to take any prizes right now. Uh, yeah, because then we might uh, ruin our whole counter gain strategy. So we're going to Snowy Wind and do 30 damage to the Survivor. That's fine. 70-30. Okay. I didn't forget to Feather Out, right? No, we definitely Feather Out. Okay, great. All right, so I'm not feeling too bad. I think despite the fact... Oh, God. <laughs> despite the fact that we've been supremely high-rolled this entire game, I think that we can still win. And especially if we draw into Super Boost, now there... Oh, this is glorious. Oh, so glorious. Great. Okay, we don't actually want to take a knockout yet still. I think we just power draw away the Ultra Ball. And we've got Guzma as our other switch out. Oh, I've got the super boost. Do we just take... No, because then we just unlock this guy for sure. So we want to go super boost for game. Let's Guzma up. Oh, geez. Yeah, let's Guzma up, I guess, this guy. Sure. Okay. I didn't want to take like a... A knock. I guess if I take those two knockouts, then I... Okay, okay, okay. So we want to... I don't want to put the super boost down yet. We're going to feather arrow. Probably once there. Let's feather arrow once here. Take that knockout for sure. And then I think that I actually knock out the Nihilego too. So if we do that, I could go 70. Yeah, I think I also knock out this Nihilego. That feels good. And then I'm pretty much poised to win this game because I'm taking, like, pretty insane knockouts here. Oh, yeah, I can't. But, I, oh, I have the DC, so we'll do that. Cool. We'll go that route there. And Snowy Wind. And then also put 30 damage onto the Oranguru. So that feels good. I think that we're taking out the Nihilego. We're good. We have, like, everything kind of ready to roll here with the Swampert Super Boost play. I guess there is a route where I just kind of get stalled out of the game, I guess. Uh, maybe. That's kind of like my major concern right now is that if my opponent can, I don't know, Guzma Strand something and get me in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go again with him. Is, the, is he getting KO'd here? I don't think so, but I think he understands. He's got a GX here. No, he's not GXing. Oh, we just win. We, we just win. Oh, he didn't GX me. Yes. Oh, good game to my opponent. Oh, get there. Swampert, Super Boost, Hydro Pump. GG's, my man. We got there versus the Shuckle Deck. All right. Woo. Busted, honestly. All right, guys. Raise your Porygons. Raise your Porygons. Telling you, we didn't use him, but he was still very good. <laughs> he was our good luck charm, all right? We don't lose with Porygon in deck. Got there. Awesome. So that uh, that was a crazy game. They really threw me for an emotional loop there with all those Mars. I was <laughs> not expecting all of that, dude. That game was really tough. We had to very much play from behind the entire time so that was highly stressful but thank you guys for hanging out thank you guys for uh for all the positive vibes help me uh help me get there oh what's up jay i appreciate it thank you for hanging out 
this morning. Thank you all for hanging out this morning. This is the biggest stream I've had in recent memory, so that's incredible. Thank you. It's really going excellently here. So the morning squad seems to be super tight. Morning squad and also, you know, overseas squad. We'll call it the morning slash overseas stream slash people at work. Jacob Van Wagner. Hey, man. We got Jacob Van Wagner, world champion in the chat. Wow. Everybody say hi to Jacob Van Wagner. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate it. It's been a long time, my man. Hope you're doing well and that uh, all your dreams are coming true. Appreciate you taking the time to check out the stream and come hang out for a little bit. But for those of you that don't know, Jacob won the world championships in 2015 with Archie's Blastoise, a legend, immortalizing the deck that we all know and love from expanded format and still play to this day. Still one of my favorite expanded decks. So we've got a little bit of a sketchy starting hand here. You never want to just Cynthia first. You usually like to, oh, especially Shrine. Guys, the new, uh, the new, let's see, what am I trying to say here? Hmm. The new Snorlax is going to be really good, really good in this Shrine deck, okay? So, oh, yikes. This is fine. I'm fine with this. You know what? I don't need, I don't need that Cynthia and I don't need that fairy energy. All I need is to go get a Vulpix. That's all. So we're just going to go get a Vulpix. My opponent ain't going to knock me out next turn, like for sure. We'll just retreat into Vulpix. Stay calm. Look, look at their turn one, though. So I'm fine with that. Their turn one involved an NK pass. So we're doing better than that, are we not? I'm going to go get myself... Probably, I wish I had the blue nine tails. Oh no, where is the blue nine tails when you want them? I think we're just gonna go get two rallets. We could also get a rallet and a nine tails. Probably fine, but I feel like honestly I just want two rallets. Or a rallet and another Vulpix. That's probably okay. Two rallets. Eh, I mean, we're gonna go get more dudes like the following turn, so it doesn't actually matter. We get rallet and Lele. No, we don't need the Lele either. Maybe we do eventually, though. We'll get two rounds. I'm, <laughs> I'm like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's two rounds. Totally fine. We'll do that. And then, I don't know, eventually we're going to probably want to go get ourselves another Vulpix and then also another Ninetales. So we're going to want to do that eventually. But the new Snorlax EV Tag Team GX goes really good in DCE-oriented Malamar decks. Why, you may ask. Don't knock out my dude. <laughs> Don't do that. That's not what we wanted. That's not where we wanted that Mudkip, my guy. Do not Psychic Recharge and knock him out. <laughs> what in the world? I'm just trying to fathom, like, what is this guy's hand? Can you guys just... Help me imagine, what is this man dealing with in this hand that he has got a single Malamar and nothing else going on? We'll lecture first here. We want to get ourselves probably, do we get Busto Porygon? Probably. Our Vulpix is like safe now. We probably get Porygon and another Rowlet and another Rowlet. That's that's probably fine. Yeah, well, the Vulpix, that's, that's probably all good. Sure, we'll get all these fellas. And then we're going to Timer Ball also and see if we can get some evolutions. Uh, of course not, because that's about how Timer Ball usually works here. And then I'm fine just going in with these dudes. Eh, we'll Power Draw first. Let's Power Draw away the Vulpix. And then uh, go from there. Oh, we got a Cynthia. Very good. And a Ninetales. Oh, but I already failed my... Ugh. I already failed my thing. So that's fine. We'll wait for next turn to go in with the nine tails and get ourselves some stuff. That's fine. We'll bench the Porygon too. Just so my opponent knows that Porygon be out here flexing. All right. Just so he knows and fears the Porygon Z. We want to instill into him the fear that Porygon Z could just come popping off at any point in time. <laughs> 
<laughs> Psychic fear. How bad is this hand? The hand has got to be absolutely atrocious that this is their most optimal play. So we'll power draw away our Swamper. And then I think at this point, we just want to go get a, yeah, there we go. We want to go get a rare candy and probably an Ultra Ball too. A rare candy Ultra Ball. Yeah, I'm cool with that. If we get rare candy Ultra Ball, then, let's see, I don't have anything in the discard pile that I want to go at. Nah, just, uh, just rare candy Ultra Ball. We want to go get ourselves like a Dartrix or something like that. That's cool. And we'll Ultra Ball away as much as that hurts. That's fine. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do for the greater good. We'll do that. Rare candy into Decidueye. Busted deck. There we go. And get ourselves a Dartrix into play. And then I guess like this Swampert's not going down yet. So that's cool. We'll just put ourselves a nice old double colorless energy, probably on the Ninetales. And then, I don't know, if my opponent ever benches anything else, you know, we could potentially attack one day, but it's all good. We've got the Rainbow, we've got Rescue Stretcher. None of that's helping us out right now, but that's fine. I've got another Decidueye for next turn, and we're going to be good to go. So, all right, opponent, give me your worst. Give me your worst. I don't know, another incoming psych Psychic Sphere. But I think that the these <laughs> that's it. This is all they have. I know. You have a good deck. This is at the point where you tell them that you have they, they have a very good deck, sir. You've done this really well. And I think we just we don't necessarily want to judge them because their hand has been like really bad. So I think we just go in and kind of thin with lecture and then power draw and see if we don't draw into something good. I don't know. I mean, there's nothing good we could draw in. Super Boost would end it, right? So we'll see if we can end it with Super Boost right here. And if not, I'm fine. Yep, we got Rare Candy. We got Max Potion. That's fine. I'm going to Max Potion this Swamper. That guy ain't going down. Yeah, no. For sure, no. And then let's just Feather Arrow twice. And then I think at a certain point, he's got to start worrying that he could lose the game if he doesn't get cooking here. Especially since I'm about to attach that rainbow energy to the Swampert, meaning that, uh, yeah, next turn we could actually attack with it. So, get wrecked, my man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, D Maced PM'd for the, uh, <laughs> for the, for the stomping here with Swamp Dog. He's just out here doing his business. I'll show off the list for the Decidueye deck after this game. A DCE. <laughs> Lily for what? The Snorlax Tag Team GX, though, knocks out uh, Zorax really easily, and I think he's just uh, kind of a house. The idea that you could just slap him down in a Malamar deck and charge him up in one turn very easily. Oh, yeah. Good game, my man. That's it. I mean, we had it before, but now we, like, now we really have it. And we're going to win with Feather Arrow. Could we have... Uh, I wish we could have... We should have gone for the Porygon. Let's see. We could still go for the Porygon, guys. Let's see if we can win with, uh, <laughs> see if we win with Porygon. Ah, we do not get to win with Porygon. All right, that's fine. Good game, my man. Getting in there. Sorry that your Malamar deck didn't work that the, uh, didn't work the way that we wanted it to, but it's all good. You know that we take these. We take these wins all day. In fact, if we just could raise our Porygons, please, for the Porygon deck, honestly, busted deck. I think our wins, like our overall win record, I'm going to show you guys. Let's go into the deck manager and see my overall win record with the, <laughs> the Porygon Z deck. Uh, just to show you guys what we got. Uh, overall play. That's not it. It surely is not 12 and 6. It's not that. Win since last edit. I feel like it is not 6 and 6. We are way better than that. All right. We are way better than 6 and 6 with this deck. But Anyways, that's what it says. It might be counting games for, you know, where we scooped real quick. I mean, obviously, I told you that those didn't count. But this is the list. <laughs> this is the list that we have right now. It's a little bit thin in some areas. Most notably, the fact that we've got one Alolan Ninetales GX in here. But that's fine. They're fine. You end up using really both of them kind of equally. So, you know, you're fine. Just don't prize it. Just don't ever prize this thing, and you're totally fine. That's what I do. Just don't prize it. 
And then, you know, one max potion, one ace roll. I would love more healing cards in here, but that's kind of just uh, really, really where we're at right now. Six, six, six. All right, I'm playing Decidueye again. Sorry, yeah, I took a little break there, but uh, I just really enjoy him playing Decidueye this morning, so I think I'm just going to give that another roll. And then eventually i got to start work, so I, too, am going to have to begin work today. It is about 12.04, so it's about that time that we get going on the work day. But it's been a fantastic stream. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this wonderful Tuesday morning. Y'all are incredible. Really appreciate the love and the support. Thank you to the subs. Thank you for all the bits as well. And if you are new and this is your first time catching the stream, appreciate it. Thank you. You rock. All right. Let's get it popping here. We got ourselves a Vulpix there in the active. We've got Rowlet as well. Good to go. We're going second, but the starting hand is gorgeous. Thank you, Chris Tucker. We are playing against some sort of Beldum deck here. I don't know. Some sort of Metagross, Sweaty Gross. Awesome stuff. Hello. I'm going to tell your opponents hello. You ever say hello? You ever use these? Excellent. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Dude, Chris Tucker is always getting <laughs> always getting uh, timed out for the bits, but I appreciate the bits, my man. Oh, no. What is this? Mount Cornet? No, this is definitely just a Metagross deck, so... We're fine there, and they have, uh, ooh, they are playing a Swampert in their Metagross deck. Interesting. You know what time it is, though, guys. I think you already know what time it is. Definitely going to be about Porygon o'clock here. We're going to win this with Porygon for sure. <laughs> Ain't no way he's targeting down my Porygon. So we're going to start off with the Elms Lecture there, definitely. Do we have the whole, oh, we've got the whole Porygon in deck. None of it's prized. Beautiful turn. Let's see. We're just going to get all the pieces. Get ourselves, yep, Rowlet, Mudkip, Vulpix. Beautiful. Then we could just go bench these fellas and get a turn two. Hopefully the Ninetales, the Pink Alola Ninetales, got to be in deck as well. If it's not, that could be bad for us. I don't think my opponent's going to knock me out here. So I feel pretty comfortable attaching the Rainbow Energy to the active. That's probably fine. And then we'll just beak in here. Do we have the Alola Ninetales? Busted. Yes, we do. And then we can go get ourselves also a Decidueye. So we're just going to be able to Alola Ninetales for double rare candy here. Get turn two Ninetales Decidueye Swampert, hopefully with an attacking Ninetales in the active. I do know that the Ninetales is weak to metal. It is weak to metal. I know that. Okay, so that's like a little bit sketchy. So we do have to watch out for that. But I think it could be worth it to just get some initial damage on board and spread some damage out, be aggressive. I think it's definitely, definitely the play here. Opponents going in with timer ball. And, oh, yeah, God, it feels so good when your opponent gets double tails on Timer Ball, just like the rest of us. Oh, yeah, that's, that's great. Sorry, sorry, not sorry, though. They've got a nice holographic Swampert. I'm just saying, I'm jelly of your Swampert, my man. That's a nice Swampert you got there. Look at that holographic pattern. Beautiful. It's really, really good, honestly. It's a nice Swampert. Kind of jelly, a little little jelly of the swamper it's all good <laughs> yes chris tuckered so i am going to be out traveling to dallas from tomorrow to probably monday so i might be back for a monday night stream next monday but i am taking a long uh, little trip there road trip to dallas so that's going to take a little while hopefully if you guys are in dallas you can catch me there and it should be a good time. But Natalie and Otto are going to helm the stream tomorrow night. So we are still going to have a stream tomorrow. And they're going to be helping me work on that. So shout out to Natalie. Shout out to Otto for running the shop stream here while I am on the road to Dallas. 
And then the Friday stream, unfortunately, we will be off, but let's see. All right, let's get it. We're going to go Alola Ninetales GX, get myself two rare candies out of the deck. Boom, boom. And we've got Swampert, we've got Decidueye. Let's go get them. Beautiful here. And then I just attached that DC to the active. We've got it, so let's just let's just get it while we're here. Sure. I don't really mind attaching the choice band. That's that's probably fine. I just want to draw into better cards off of the Cynthia, to be honest. And I could just throw that throw that choice band out there. I could go in. Let's let's power draw first. Both these guys are weak to uh, both these guys are weak to metal, so they're both a little bit sketchy to play. I can power draw away that Lele, to be honest. I don't really need the Lele. That's fine. Another DCE available. That's cool. Honestly, don't super need all of these Cynthia's here. So I'm thinking that I am going to go get myself. Yeah, let's uh, let's ultra ball away these fellas. That's probably fine. I can't really afford to give up too many prizes with the. Uh, Let's see, with the whole, you know, oh, the whole Ninetales thing. Do we just go with the Porygon with the quickness? Like, we just threaten that Porygon super early. I think we just threaten the Porygon real quick. Like, we just say, you know what? We could make this happen very, very fast. <laughs> and you should be scared. So I think we go and just start sniping the bench here. Excellent. I know, my opponent's like, dude, Porygon? No, you didn't. I'm like, yeah, I did. Yeah, we did, fella. Oh, yes, we did. So let's snipe onto the probably the benched, another one of these benched Beldums. Like, you know they play Max Potion, so you have to kind of spread your damage all over the place for sure in order to have the, you know, best option to uh, to have some damage stick. So that's kind of that's kind of what our game plan is here. We're gonna try and get damage all over my opponent's board, and make them waste max potions. Now that does make this matchup a little bit more tough. It, the fact that they probably have like three or four max potion in their deck, and they did get turn two Metagross and Swampert, so they're drawing pretty well here. Are they gonna target down? Oh, I was gonna say, don't target down the Porygon, my man. Don't do me like that. That would be bad. We can like make some really heavy plays here now. If they uh, take this knockout, yeah. I'm actually totally fine with that. It leaves my, my nine tails safe. We can make it work here if we just draw an Ultra Ball Rare Candy off of the Cynthia. Now that's asking for a lot. So it might not happen like that, but we're sure going to try. I think I go super boost on the Decidueye this game. That feels like the best play. And then let's just Cynthia and hope that we get Rare Candy. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, my gosh. This guy's about to just get punished. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, so I think we go here. Everybody chat, raise your Porygons, please. <laughs> raise your Porygons. It is time to raise your Porygons up loud and proud. We are going to have to get our hands on the Porygon Z for sure. So we think we're going to ditch the double colorless energy. That's fine. I probably should have ditched something different, but raise your Porygons. Here we are. Sweet, sweet victory. All right, so we are going to Rare Candy into Porygon, and that's probably going to get him, you know, a little bit salted, yeah, because his nine tails going down, and also, you know, the, the Swampert, dude. Raise your Porygons, chat. Here we are. Yes. Beautiful. It's about Porygon time. There, we're taking at least one prize there. Yes, never punished. We got the Rowlet. That is excellent. So there we go. And then we can just snowy wind without being punished. We're going to feather arrow that Beldum there. And yeah, we're doing snowy wind. Knock out the active and then 30 damage there. So we're taking more prizes, two prizes, busted. Three prize turn with Porygon Z. Insano, 
get in there. We don't even need the uh, the Swampert. That's fine. Good riddance. I was planning on kind of going in and using Hollow Hunt next turn with the Decidueye. So that's kind of my thought process. Insano, busted Porygon Z, busted. <laughs> oh, man. That feels good. I think that they're not going to be able to attack this next turn, which just means that Alola Ninetales just gets to wreak havoc again and again and again. So that's really good. And then taking their rare candy usage away, I mean, they've already used three. They've used three rare candies now. So that means that they're going to be even slower to set up the remainder of the game because they only have one rare candy left. So they have to think carefully about how they use that. I'm thinking, you know, my opponent took out the Swamper, but they probably are regretting leaving Mr. Porygon out <laughs> here now, dude. Oh, oh, Aunt Polly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish I could give you the, uh, I wish I could give you the Porygon. But thank you, Aunt Polly, for your, for your support on Patreon. Shout out to all the Patreon subs. You guys rock. Keep this channel rolling. Keep this channel rolling for sure. So, my opponent has Cynthia. They're going to be able to draw more cards off of that. But I don't think that they're going... They, you know they shuffled the Swampert back into that, that into the deck. They're going to get another Beldum, but they're going to need to see some Matangs here. If they don't see any Matangs on board, then they're going to have a hard time. They're going to have a tough time. Well, if you have... Prime, Polly, then that's just a free sub for you, my man. Because Twitch Prime, they just have, you know, they just have free subs. So then you get all the emotes. All of them. Let's see, my opponent's going to algorithm this turn. We really want to find... Uh, we really want to find a... Probably a, a Decidueye this turn. That's what we want. Just right off top. If we could just get a Decidueye off top, that'd be gorgeous. We could rare candy into another Decidueye. And then we would be able to double snipe another Beldum for knockout, which would just be super good. We could also just Guzma something and just deal a ton of damage to it with our Decidueye this turn, like one... 20 is super good with Razor Leaf, so that's an option as well. And I could Hollow Hunt, though I don't necessarily want to Hollow Hunt. So we have to consider our options here. We top decked a Dartrix, so that's fine. Do we go in and Hollow Hunt this turn? We probably can. We probably can Hollow Hunt. Let's see, what do we have in the discard pile? We've got DCE, some Rare Candies... Huh, some Cynthia's would be really good about now, too. So I'm thinking if we Guzma up the Mudkip, I mean, that's that's one thing. That or I just go and kind of stay the course, snowy wind. I think I like Guzma better, though. So we're going to Guzma up probably this fella. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're just going to evolve, get some more action into play here. You know what? Porygon Z might attack. Okay, I'm just going to put it out there. We might get to see Porygon Z attack this this game. It's just, it's something that we might do. So we'll go in and do our damage probably to the Metagross. We're going to have to take one of these Metagross out eventually. That's just like the way that it is, for sure. So we'll probably, but they, they can max potion it. Like that's just tough. Sure, we'll do, we'll do our 20 damage there. Insane. All right. And then let's just hollow hunt. Cool. Because I need to get more Pokemon into play. So we're just going to go get Cynthia. Cynthia. Honestly, if we just chuck like a bunch of Cynthia's back into the deck and then I have a rare candy, I could Ultra Ball once, I guess, and go Cynthia, Cynthia, Ultra Ball. Go get that stuff back into the deck. It's probably good. So we're, we're cool with that. That way I can Ultra Ball my rare candy and my other top deck next turn and get myself a Decidueye so that I'm guaranteed to get uh, the super boosts working, which would be very good. So 
Thank you, Mib Nation, for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the club. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Busted sub. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, amazing. We're actually very close to 100 subs. It was my goal when I started streaming on Twitch to be able to get 100 subs. So that's like really, really cool. And thank you guys so much for for all the support. You guys are all incredible. Thank you to all the Patreon subs, all the all the Twitch subs, everybody who's chucked bits my way. Thank you so much. You guys are incredible. And you know, that's why I'm doing I do it for you guys. So thank you. Appreciate it. It's really, really encouraging and really, uh, <laughs> and it's uh, really motivating for sure. All right, so that 119 Tails finally bites the dust. I'm okay with that though, because my opponent has no way to knock out this Decidueye, and now the Decidueye is just clean. So he can go in and do kind of whatever he wants here. We're gonna Ultra Ball away those fellas, get myself a Decidueye, and then just Cynthia. We know we've got more, you know, Cynthia's into the deck now that we just are shuffling another one back in, so that's cool too. Gives us an option to draw maybe a little bit better than we would. Um, let's see here. How many rare candies do I have left? None. They're all gone, actually. So that is a little bit of a bummer. I just ultra balled away my final rare candy. So that's worth thinking about a little bit, but it's all good. Let's see if we hit on this timer ball to go get ourselves another. Of course not. Should have ultra balled it away, but that's okay. We can gladly just get rid of that Swampert since we know that uh, we're not getting another Swampert out, that's for sure. So this is it. This is the squad right here. We've got Triple Feather Arrow, and that's that. So we have to kind of be careful, though, because I can't really uh, ace a roll of this dude in the active. We're doing 120 plus 60. That means we could do 180. 180? Oh my gosh, we're 10 short on this guy. That's just that's just sad. All right, we're going to triple feather arrow. And that's the 70 HP one? Oh, jeez. Okay, we need to start putting damage all over the place. But I think, you know, we'll put some on this new one here. That's fine. I think we put it, like, kind of all over the place. Because we need to prepare for incoming max potion for sure. So let's do that. And then just uh, Razor Leaf for 120. I'm cool with it. That's fine. He's at 180. He's got 70 hit points left. So, oh, so I'm talking about King of the Road, dude. I love that show. It's like one of my favorite shows of all time. I just finished watching all of the seasons promote, uh, produced by Viceland. And now I'm looking to get into the old ones, dude. Evan Smith is nuts, man. Evan Smith is totally crazy. Zion is just so good. Zion Brown is wild. Evan Smith is obviously just like so insanely good though. So, uh, Barracks, yes, I follow Barracks on, um, ah, sure enough, they have the max motion. I follow Barracks on, uh, on what Instagram? So I like I see a lot of their stuff on Instagram. And dude, yeah, Chris Joslin's an absolute beast. I've been watching the street leagues as well, and I saw that Nyjah won the street league world championships. As a little bit of a spoiler, I didn't get to sit down and watch it yet, so I was kind of bummed that I didn't get to sit down and actually watch. But you know, it's cool. Uh, I think Yuto Horigami has just been an absolute monster. You know, in those. Uh, battle or in those street leagues so like he's one of my favorites right now as well but I think like I knew he was going to the potion was like happening we knew that the potion was happening so that's a little bit tough I think I just honestly I can promote one of these dudes here uh, and take a hit and then feather arrow like that's probably what I'm going to do because that way I can like ace a I can ace a roll of this dude, right? But I can't really ace a roll of the one that takes the, yeah, that's that's fine. All right, so we're just gonna do that. And then let's just feather arrow uh, three times, probably onto, let's see, we know he's gonna come in with like a new dude. So we could feather arrow like one to each and kind of just like wear away at him a little bit. That's fine. Or we could just like, yeah, we'll just do that. 
that's fine. So we're going to feather arrow there. We're going to feather arrow probably, if we just do three at a time in one place, we'll just spread it out probably between like two places. Or we could do all three. I don't know if that's actually like a, actually legit. They've all got choice bands. Like it doesn't really, I'll put one on the mudkip too. That way next turn I can kind of knock out that if I want to, sure. So we're just going to take a hit and then we're going to ace a roll up it up. That's what we're doing here. So definitely a grind fest out here because we have to just try to wear down my opponent while, uh, you know, while we, while we just snipe away and try to run them out of max potions. So I know I won't be able to attack. That's fine. I'm going to go into Vulpix. Thank you, uh, Polly, for the sub with Twitch Prime, my man. Appreciate it. We're going to Acerola into Vulpix. So we're going to, like, sack the Vulpix here, I think. It's probably the move. Ooh, if, like, super high greed play if we just go for Cynthia. But I think we just Acerola. That's, that's fine. Oh, we got a Feather Arrow first, for sure. Let's Feather Arrow. Let's take those guys out. So we're going to take out the Mudkip this turn. <clears throat> Finally take that thing out, then um, there we go. I think that potentially Baker 3 was like one of my favorites. I really liked, ooh, we've got Guzma. Okay, that kind of changes things. I could hit with the Decidueye this turn, but then my opponent just has game if they have Guzma. So you probably don't want to let that have the possibility of happening. So let's just uh, Acerola. We'll go into Vulpix this turn, that's fine. And then bench that. I also really liked the, uh, let's see, skateboarding videos. I also really liked Enjoy's Bag of Suck, was like one of my favorites for sure. I really like Enzo's new part from Enjoy. I think Enzo is an absolute madman, so Enzo is like so good. It's really, really good. All right, let's beacon. Uh, we're just gonna go get these fellas. Sure, out the deck, that's fine. I guess like if my opponent had Guzma, they were gonna be like really favored anyway. And that way, I don't know, I won't be able to attack with a super boost, but I could find a DCE in deck. Even if they do KO the Rowlet here, I could go find the DCE, but we didn't want them to be able to win with Guzma for sure. So a tough call here, definitely. Definitely a grinder of a matchup. We both have like a ton of healing. He's just cranking out a ton of damage every turn. So we gotta hope that they're out of Guzmas. How many Guz He's got three Guzmas down. So he may like not have another Guzma left. No, Chris Tucker, I don't think that I've seen that. So I'll have to have to check that out for sure. And this is going to be my last game, guys. I think uh, I got to get to work after this. So definitely about work o'clock. So I have appreciate everybody hanging out. It's been a great time. We got a lot done here. Won a lot of games with Porygon. Busted. Hit a new recent high on our viewer count. So shout out to you all for being awesome. We have to go in here, I think, with the Decidueye and then hope I hit a DCE off of, yeah, off of this Cynthia. So we're going to go here. We don't want my opponent to have any sort of, let's see, do we have Judge in deck? I might have Judge in deck. I do have Judge in deck. So I could potentially judge my opponent as well which could be good, but then that just means that they just win on Guzma again. They win on Guzma either way. So I think I probably, yeah, let's see. Oh, I don't have, that's fine. They win on Guzma either way because they would just Guzma up the thing. So that's fine. We're just going to fail that. I don't have Judge in deck, and then we're just going to Cynthia here. And I might as well put down the Mudkip and the, eh, I could put down the Mudkip and the Vulpix since I lose on Judge either way. And then I increase my odds of hitting the DCE and hitting into this dude. So that's probably fine. Yeah. I mean, I, I lose either way on... Yeah, I definitely lose either way on Guzma right now. So we're just going to go for it. 
And see what we can do. We got a DCE, so that's good. And we got a Guzma in hand. So, like, we're in a situation where we can win this game if, let's see, we're doing 120 right now. Yeah, so we're going to Feather Arrow that dude at least once. And then we're going to Feather Arrow, you know, probably that dude. I don't know, one of the, uh, just that dude, that's fine. And then we'll just uh, Razor Leaf. And then I, if they don't Max Potion and they don't have Guzma, we have game. They have three Guzmas in the discard pile, so it's possible that they don't have it. If they play four Guzma, then you got me, you know, so. Nestle, thank you for gifting the sub. Appreciate it. And welcome Chris Tucker to the club, busted. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. And thank you, Nestle, for the generosity. Y'all rock. Nice looking badge there. Let's see. My opponent's got Ultra Ball. Do they have it? Do they have Lele for Guzma for game? Do they have another Max Potion? So many questions that I need answered. They're getting a Swampert out of their deck. I'm feeling like three Guzmas all they play. So... That could be good news for me, for sure. Let's see. Three Guzmas down. Only two Max Potion down, though. But they did jam a Swampert line into that deck, so they might not have it. Let's see, do they have a Max Potion here? That's just going to hurt so bad if they have the Max Potion. Come on. Come on, guys. That would be really good if you didn't have... Just attack. Is it that... Geotech systems just attack. No max potion. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, please, no max potion. Oh, just have this be it. And then we can. Oh, well, yes. Oh, we did it. Chat, raise your porygons once again. We have done it with porygon get in there oh you beautiful porygon you we've got guzma for game my man guzma up that sweaty gross yeah busted deck and we've got triple feather arrow to boot busted porygon great finale to a great stream thank you all so much for the sub shout out to the patreon sub shout out to the twitch subs shout out to the mods Hanging out on a Tuesday morning. Shout out to you all for making Tuesday morning my new hotspot. I might have to add Tuesday mornings to the schedule, to be honest, because it was popping this morning. We got there a bunch of times with Porygon. Incredible stuff. Love the conversation. Thank you. Love the, love the chat. It was great. You guys rock. Hope you all have a fantastic Tuesday. Like I said, I'm going to be heading to the Dallas Regional Championships this week. So Natalie and Otto are going to be helming the stream here tomorrow at the Full Grip Game Shop Tournament. So make sure to stay tuned for that 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, we are going to be missing Friday morning. So this was supposed to take place at the Friday morning stream. So I'm going off this weekend. Going to be in Dallas. But make sure to check out Full Grip Games for pre-orders. We're going to be doing pre-orders for Team Up this week. So those are going to be up this week. You can check me out on Twitter at EnjoyFriend, E-N-J-O-I Friend, and stay tuned for that. If anybody wants to see the Decidueye deck list that we were rocking with here, I could show that off real quick. Before we go, this is the list. So it's the same list that I played, I think very similar to the list that I played today on YouTube, except that I have three rainbows instead of three fairy energy. I switched those counts. But all in all, pretty cool list. It's definitely a lot of fun to play. Thank you all so much for making this a fantastic stream, and I hope you all have a great day. Peace.